Hey, NBC family, this is Bishop Roberts. I hope that your week is going well so far. Hey, it was really good to see a number of you this past week at our Sunday service. I'm enjoying getting to know you as we are beginning this new chapter as a church family together. We also continued our new message series, which is called Our Faith, Jesus. And we continue to look at who Jesus is for us as individuals, but who Jesus is also for us as a church family. In the first two weeks, we looked at how Jesus is our savior. Jesus is our savior. He's the one that takes us out of the dark ways of sin and brings us into God's light. Now, that has implications for us as individuals. It changes us, but it also should have implications for how we act in the world. It should change our relationships. It should make us a different sort of son and daughter. It should make us a different person in the workplace or at school or in our families. At the end of the day, when Jesus saves us, he saves all of us, and that's exciting. So we, we talked about how Jesus is our savior. This past week, we began to talk about how Jesus is our sanctifier, which means that through Jesus, God chooses you and I, and he sets us apart from the world. So some of the takeaways from this past week's message were that, number one, in sanctifying us, God sets everything right in terms of our relationship with him, he also sets our relationship right with others. That's really exciting and important to hear. When we become a Jesus follower, our relationship with God changes. More and more, we're wanting to be shaped by God. We're wanting to follow the Lord in all the ways of our life. But importantly, when we begin to follow Jesus, it also changes the way that we relate to other people. Our friendships should look different. Uh, the way that we exist in our community and participate in our community, it should look different. So number one, sanctification, it, it sets us right with God and it sets us right with others. But with Jesus being our sanctifier, another thing that happens is that we are set apart from the world, which means we, we walk to the beat of a different drum because of what God is doing in our life. Um, we should not be the same. We should not look the same. We should not do things the same way because of the thing that Jesus is doing in our life. But I want us to also hear that being separate from the world does not mean that we are absent from the world. Let me say that again. Being separate from the world does not mean that we are absent from the world. Because we do things differently because of what Jesus is doing in us, we as Jesus followers, people should notice that there's something different, different about us because of what we do do that's positive because we are different sorts of people when it comes to how we deal with the problems in our society. People should notice that there's something different about us when we're in challenging situations, that we're the people who don't lash out and begin to lose our cool with people, but we're the ones who build up. We're the ones who try to be pacemakers. So when Jesus sanctifies us, God does indeed set us apart from the world, but being set apart from the world does not mean that we are absent from the world. And finally, the sanctifying work that Jesus is doing in our life means that God redeems every part of our life. And this is really important for us to hear as a church of new beginnings. God redeems every part of our lives. God is not afraid of our past transgressions or our present struggles. God redeems everything, every part of our life. And because of that, we have hope in Jesus Christ. So this upcoming week, we're gonna continue our message series um, on our faith Jesus, and we're gonna do a bit of a deeper dive into what it means for Jesus to be our sanctifier. Well, that's all I got for today. I want to give one more plug. We are, uh, if, you, if you've been watching our videos online, you can see that our stage is beginning to, to change a bit. We are getting ready to have live worship every first Sunday starting in August. I'm really excited about that. So if you sing, uh, if you play an instrument, if you, nobody, if, you, if you know somebody who sings or plays an instrument, uh, please have them contact the church. They can contact me. We would love to have them. Even if they don't have a church home, well, we would welcome them into uh, that, that ministry in our local church. But as always, we're praying for you, New Beginnings, and uh, we, we hope to see you all this upcoming Sunday at 1030 a.m. right on South 6th Avenue in Wabash and Bartow, Florida. Be blessed and peace.